Business Today is brought to you by... More great cities just got closer. The Scotiabank Aero Platinum MasterCard is now even better. Fly to New York, Miami, Orlando, and Fort Lauderdale with just 20,000 Scotia points. With your new Scotiabank Aero Platinum MasterCard, you'll receive a welcome bonus of 10,000 Scotia points so you can enjoy the cities you love most sooner than ever. Apply today. Call 426-7000 or visit your nearest branch. This is Business Today. I'm Marlon Madden. Barbados will not be floating its dollar, Prime Minister Frendel Stewart has assured. The idea was mooted back in March by former Prime Minister Owen Arthur, who said other currencies should be considered to help stabilize the Barbados dollar. But Stewart told the Central Bank of Barbados Awards Gala at the Concord Experience at the weekend that it was in the island's best interest to maintain its long-standing two-to-one peg to the United States dollar. Since Barbados has a fixed exchange rate, which we need to defend at all costs, our working assumption is that maintenance of a healthy level of reserves and prudent management of the fiscal deficit are vital to facilitate growth and to maintain confidence. In Barbados, with the level of reserves always a matter for special consideration, a strategy of disciplined management of exchange control has evolved under the careful guidance of the central bank. The Caribbean badly needs a single financial commission to regulate its financial services sector. And according to opposition leader Mia Motley, it's time to stop talking and get to work. While addressing the 31st Annual Sales Congress for the Caribbean Association of Insurance and Financial Advisors at the Hilton recently, she also lamented the slow pace of CARICOM single market and economy. Motley stressed the region needs to move forward. We also recognize that it is a nonsense for each of us to have separate financial services commissions to regulate at an individual level in circumstances where countries are moving capital and people across regions in the context of a single market and economy. The bureaucratic nonsense of singular financial services commissions has to stop in this region. And in the same way we have a Caribbean Court of Justice that has both national and regional jurisdiction. We need a single financial services commission that has both national and regional jurisdiction to meet the needs of the multinational firms. The coconut industry is big business, but Barbados and its Caribbean neighbors will have to step up their game to cash in on the lucrative sector. The issue came under the microscope at the recent Coconut Stakeholders Forum held by the Ministry of Agriculture. Executive Director of the Caribbean Agricultural Research and Development Institute, CARDI, Barton Clark, said that the coconut industry experienced a decline in the late 1970s when coconut oil was considered inferior to soybean oil, but within the last few years, it has made a major comeback. Except for Jamaica and the Dominican Republic, studies suggested that none of the brothers were in a position to be able to take advantage of the growing demand for coconut oil. Therefore, some significant investments will be necessary if we are to realize the, the, the spring fall which, which could occur. To show that the coconut industry can once again contribute to employment, the further progress of the youth and women, it could contribute to year round incomes in rural areas and a source of durable environmental friendly fibers with a wide range of industrial applications. Chief Agricultural Officer Lennox Chandler gave assurances the Ministry of Agriculture will do its part to develop the industry in Barbados. There are lot of, lots of incentives, a lot of incentives have, have been given over the years that have not been taken up, but again, that's a, another issue for another place. Uh, we will also be supplying germplasm, both in the form of tissue culture, as well as in the form of, of seedlings. And Mr. James, I think, is down to speak on that, so I'm not going to expand too much on that. The Ministry will also perform a role as a regulator in terms of ensuring that the rules or regulations are followed in terms of importation of germplasm. And of course, our core contribution has to be in terms of research. Now for today's financial tip. Did you know 63% of consumers are more likely to purchase from companies that have online user reviews? Boost your reputation by encouraging customers to review your business online. 
That's been Business Today. Join us again on Thursday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbidastoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper, and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Maddie. Thank you.